Hi, my name is Melanie Fisher, and today we have the pleasure to be in Dassault Systems Global Headquarters, where we meet with global leaders and influencers to share our technology. Today, I am actually meeting with Interstellar Lab to share the latest and greatest innovations. So come with me. You're the founder and CEO of Interstellar Lab. Can you tell me how you are changing the game in space? Um, I think we are the only company currently working on you know, bringing, um, bringing life uh, in an enclosed environment into space. Uh, and we kind of figured out how to you know, design the structure and control everything and recreate climate so we can carry life out of Earth. Tell us how is the system involved with disruptive companies, and especially startups? Well, you know, the system since its inception has been involved with giants in aerospace and defense, redefining the frontier of what's possible in commercial aviation with Boeing and Airbus, for example. But now is the time for the industry renaissance. We are seeing a lot of startups in new space, in urban air mobility, or even in clean aviation, redefining the extent of what is possible. CPO of Interstellar Lab, can you tell me what has been so critical for you in order to set up the right foundations? At Interstellar Lab, the, um, we, we design and build uh, biopods where life can grow. So it's, um, it's a very specific topic where we integrate a lot of different expertise. Uh, it starts from uh, agronomy, because we grow plants, goes to engineering, software, design, architecture. So a lot of different fields that we need to, that needs to, to collaborate together. So having a, a tool uh, that allows us to to coordinate the project uh, along its life cycle uh, is, uh, is super important for us. So tell me, Antoine, what inspires you working with companies such as Interstellar Lab? So very good question. I think their ambition, the ambition to tackle sustainable challenges. Today is very fascinating to work with such innovative companies. So based on your expertise and you know, experience, what has been critical to make this a success in terms of collaboration? For me, it's the governance, you know, to find the right person at the right time in order to make sure that their project is a successful project. So I can take the example of a VP, of exec uh, person and a tech leader in order, you know, for example, on this technical subject to make sure that we have the right resources at the right time in order to uh, make sure that their project is very successful. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing this today. So, uh, guys, I really hope that you enjoy, you know, this short video and see you soon around. Thank you.